Hello, Kinsler Cougars. Today's creative thinking activity is called Mechanimals. Curious combinations. We can imagine new and unusual things. Lesson goals. In this art activity, we're going to understand that imaginative art may be created by joining unrelated objects. Consider combining related parts from different subject matter and create an imaginative mechanimal. Materials that you can use for this project include pencil, paper, eraser, or if you want to get a little bit more invested into this activity, you could use found objects from around your house and your yard. Um, found objects like maybe from a junk drawer where your family just throws things, at, but they never use them and that you can get pretty creative putting those little trinkets to use in an art project. Um, old shoe boxes, cardboard, maybe an old cardboard cereal box, and just any kind of found materials. Imagine the impossible. Our imagination allows us to think of things that don't exist. We can think of things that seem impossible, such as part fish and part tractor. Curious combinations. When creative thinkers combine parts of an animal with parts of a machine, they create mechanimals. Imagine to think about things in a new or different way. Mechanimal, an imaginary thing which is part animal and part machine. A made up word that combines two real words in a new way. One, animal. We can see animals at the zoo. Two, mechanical. A car is a mechanical device. Three, mechanimal. Picasso's sculpture is a mechanimal. Focus on the sculpture in picture A. What ideas did the artist put together to make this sculpture? And please feel free to stop the video at any time to spend more time with the art images. How does a baboon really look? What object on his head does his head resemble? What object does the baboon's head resemble? Focus on the drawing in picture B by Murray Tinkleman. Describe what you see. What ideas did the artist combine in his two drawings of mechanimals? These are both by Murray Tinkleman. Focus on the print in picture C. How are living creatures like machines? Think about what they do, what they can do, and how they move. How are machines different from animals? Again, think about what they can do, how they move, think about how they feel or how their textures, their materials. There are many ways to use your imagination for art. Study the picture by Wanda Gag. How did this artist use her imagination? Create your own mechanimal. One. Make a list of machines such as lawnmowers, tractors, cars, trains. Two, list different kinds of animals such as fish, birds, lizards, insects, dogs, cats, horses. You can get pretty specific with your animal list. Three, 
Think about it. Where do animals live? What do they eat? How do they move? Choose one item from each list and combine the two to make a new impossible creature. Here's an example of student artwork for you to look at. Ask for help in choosing parts that will make your mechanimal move and function well. Create an original drawing of a mechanimal. Use your imagination. Experiment with ways of combining the parts. It's okay to throw away some of your ideas. The parts that you want to keep should go together in a way that makes your mechanimal able to function well. Review, true or false? Number one, true or false? When an artist creates something impossible, they have created something that might exist in our world. Is that true or false? Two, which of the following are mechanimals? A dog with car wheels for feet? A grasshopper with helicopter rotors on its back? A cat with a long tail? Aesthetic awareness. Keep your eyes open as you go through your day. Look for creatures and objects that you might put together. Follow-up activity. Draw an environment to show where your mechanimal lives and what it eats. Draw details to show how your mechanimal works. And if you go back and look at the Murray Tinkleman drawings, you'll see that he added a lot of details to um, tell more about how his mechanimals work. Make up a name for your mechanimal, like Murray Tinkleman did. Share ideas for a science fiction story that features your mechanimal as the main character. You could even make a comic strip about your mechanimal. Evaluation. Your drawing combines animal and machine parts in an imaginative way. Your drawing shows what the creature does, how it moves, and how it works. And then here's about today's artists, and I'm sure you could go on the internet and find more information on these three artists. And then more to explore on your own, a couple of interesting looking books. The first one's called Hubert the Pudge, A Vegetarian Tale. And the second one is called Behold the Bold Umbrella Fent and Other Poems. You could also go in more in depth with Science. I know a lot of us love science. Animal facts, where animals live, what animals eat, and how they move are basic facts that we ask about when we are learning about any animal. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing your mechanimal creations and all their different forms. I sure do hope you guys post those to Flipgrid. You do have a video spot on there where you can, you can tell about and show everyone your mechanimal creations. All right, look forward to seeing those. Bye-bye.